Hi, in this video I'll show you how to make a real projector from all parts you see here. An image source will be an old tablet, or I should say parts of it. And that is an Asus Google Nexus 7 second generation. However, first comes first. Projector is an optic device, which idea is to manipulate the light, thus we begin our construction with light source. It will be an LED 100 watts lamp and a LED driver. For cooling I use two processor coolers installed on an aluminium plate. Projector's body I made from plywood and the back wall from aluminium. Cool air will be taken in through side windows and thrown away through back windows. We already have the light source and in order we get an image uh, this light should pass through the display circuitry. However, LED has a very wide beam angle, about 120 degrees, and the display requires beams to pass directly through it, which is the reason why our phone screens fade on big angles. To solve this problem we will use Fresnel lens. You can google a lot about it. I would just say that it works the same way as an ordinary lens, refracts the light the way we focus the sunlight to a single point, which is called a lens focus, and the distance between this point and the lens is called focal length. In the projector, light from the lamp reaches the lens at different angles, but leaves at right angle. Uh, focal length of this lens is 120 mm so I will fix it at this distance from the lamp. As a result, after the lens all beams will become nearly perpendicular to the lens. However, due to the wide beam angle of the lamp, only a small portion of light reaches the lens. I fix this by installing a condensing lens. Now the light beam becomes thinner yet round in shape, so that we still lose a lot of light. Sometime later I found a special lens for projectors on AliExpress that gives the light beam a matrix-like shape. Now the matrix. This is an IPS screen with the resolution 1920 x 1200 pixels, so we can hope for a full HD image. The matrix was stripped of highlighting touchpad and refraction films. Between the lens and the matrix should be some space so that the lamp would not overheat it. Parts of the table I mounted on plywood. To Wi-Fi module points I soldered short wires. This should be enough as the rotor would not be far away. In order to control the projector, I will use mini touchpad that is compatible with, with all Android devices. Now we have an image projection, but we should fit it into projection lens size with second Fresnel lens. It will gather into one ray of the specified size. I was lucky to get cheap old Industar 37 on flea market. This thing is huge and really fits here. Its focus distance is 300 mm, and in the past it was installed on these kind of cameras. In order to focus image on screen, we need to push or pull the objective. And that is why I made this construction. In this video you see a test design of projector, LED driver for the lamp and cooler I simply left inside the box. In addition, this small board is a step-down module to adjust fan rotation speed. One more task I had to solve is a keystone correction, which is needed when the projector is placed at some angle to the screen. In a horizontal plane correction is manual and in a vertical by a servo drive controlled by Arduino-like board.
now everything is ready for a test. Although there is still a lot to do, how it will look like completed, you'll be able to see in next videos. But for now, let us see the result. The screen is a fiberboard, colored with an ordinary acrylic paint. The projector shines like a Christmas tree, so the darkness in the workshop is not complete. Distance to the screen is 4 meters, and the projection size is 100 inches. Because the aperture rater is high on this camera, you might see a dimmer picture. I can see pixels only when I get close to the screen. On this picture, it is nearly the same as real. Most of the parts I bought on AliExpress. For the links, see description. In the second part of this video, I am going to increase brightness and improve its exterior. I hope for your support and see you later.